and welcome to this week's Old Samoanem episode. The Managalas Plateau is located southwest of the township of Pocondeta, Northern Province. In 2001, it was decided that a conservation area be established to protect the plateau's unique biodiversity. As a result of this, the initiative of having a district-wide combined forum came about to allow discussions to take place at the local level. Managala started in way back in 1984, uh, started by the students and lecturers of, uh, of the literacy department in UPNG way back in 1984. The program started as a literacy program in 1985. The Managala's Plateau proposed conservation area covers 360,000 hectares of land rich with biodiversity and is funded by donor agencies, most notably the Rainforest Foundation of Norway. Managalas is one of the few remaining areas in northern province that is still untouched by logging and oil palm activities, which are two of the contributors to the quickly diminishing natural habitat in the province. Basically, they were doing literacy work from 1985 till 1997 when the forecast changed to um, conservation because they, the people have seen that there is a huge iron and a vast forest area in Managalas Plateau. Conservation Area Act 1978, uh, you have to follow eight steps until you submit an application to the government so that it can be declared as a, or gazetted and declared as a conservation area. Uh, as per that act, we have followed the uh, eight steps and we have come to a, to, to, to a stage where uh, we have to submit our, uh, the Managalas conservation area uh, to the government. So in, 19, <clears throat> in 2012, uh, 12th of November, we submitted the Managalas conservation area uh, application to the then Department of uh, Environment and Conservation through the um, the Minister, Honorable John Pundari. In 2001, it was decided that a conservation area be established to protect this vast land area and its flora and fauna. Partners with Melanesians or PWM is a national NGO who has been working as facilitators with the Managalas people for years. The idea of a conservation area came about through a unique locally owned community consensus building process. Through this process, the locals discuss issues starting from the family level, then on to the village group discussions, followed by clan group discussions, then on to zone discussions, and is completed with the annual district-wide combined forum. Because of the uh, upgrowing you know, inflation of population, we feel that, you know, in the end we might run out of uh, resources, like just every resources. That's why now we feel that, you know, it's more better that uh, some of our resources be, you know, uh, conserved for our use today and for our children in the near future. That's why the idea of uh, uh, conservation came about through uh, the combined forums. The district-wide combined forum sees representatives from the 18 LLG wards, 11 zones and five different language groups coming together to discuss and come up with collective decisions with one thing on their mind, the Managalas Plateau to be declared a conservation area. This platform and the strong people from Managalas looks at the problems, issues where the race inside the plateau, the tribe, the camel, same group, People blow managlas, uh, raising waste blow managlas, blow try him, strong him, help him. Community blow mipla after the conservation area and declared. That is why it's an annual event where mipla look him also and good blah blah mipla must come. Making mouse for people from respective wards inside the managlas area, discuss 
issues and problems work will come up inside the plateau. So I'm a more good plan. Uh, that's the idea of the people in the combined forum. So we, we implement, we implement the, their ideas that are discussed in the forums. And then we also work along with you know, partner NGOs and other partners, government agencies and other international partners in terms of you know, supporting us with funds and technic I would say, yeah, technical expertise. Since 2012, PWM and the Managalas Development Foundation, renamed recently to Managalas Conservation Foundation, or MCF, have been working in close collaboration together with community-based organizations to have the plateau declared a conservation area. In 2012, we made a submission to the Minister for Environment and Conservation. Uh, but then our local level government uh, president put an objection, so that took us a time, took some time for us to work around it with the Conservation Environment Protection Authority to address uh, basically is what the issues he raised in his objection. And that was one reason that it took us uh, quite a long time. But uh, the majority position is that they want the area to be declared a conservation area. So basically, SEPA is going along the views of the majority. SEPA has completed all the uh, documentation and it is now submitted it to the Minister for Environment and Conservation, that's uh, Honorable uh, uh, John Kundari. So it is now up to him to take on the uh, process from there. Welcome back. The people of Managala's Plateau discussed various issues on what life would be like for them after the conservation area is declared. The people have discussed during their 2016 district-wide combined forum things or issues they see that will come about when the plateau is declared to be a conservation area. Some of the issues are what life would be like after the plateau is declared a conservation area, incorporated land groups or ILGs, governance, adult literacy and sustainable livelihood alternatives or SLA activities for women. All issues we now will be discussing in the slave forum. Some of issues that come up, the side of the mall mama, the side of the women in agriculture, the planning in Kaikai, the garden, also the networking one the most sample all outside or organized women's group, the look survey. Or the Mipla got the group is tapped, so no got group plus support law. Inside the Mipla yet law, LLG, NGO, na even provincial. So now the Slav Forum is talking Mipla or the Mipla must network one them all. Narapla organization outside the province. So me am a master this law. The people had heated discussions under the governance issue to encourage the locals to not let politics destroy their dream of having the plateau declared as a conservation area. Transparency, walk boom one time. And big plus something where by Mipla kill up in Tesla something. The previous experience inside the plateau because Mipla got uh, two plus groups and all this stuff. One plus group or like um, Mipla like a Kissima conservation come inside the plateau. And another plus group one time, President of Mipla Law for the LLG and work law, objecting this law, a proposal where Mipla like making law. Times the project has been new, you know, people all interest. All interest, all the project, even um, all the time, long, working on something, thinking all yet, with the guide of uh, PWM. He go, 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 and then now this politics have come in now. And they are driving uh, the people's mind by money and cargo, you know. 
people are slowly driving away, being driven away by uh, politics now. As we have just mentioned during the debate, yeah, our uh, issue number four, people are being divided by uh, cargo and money now. Chairman of the Managalas Conservation Foundation, Malkas Kajia, pointed out that some issues are not new to the forum. In my observation, some of these issues uh, discussed in the forums, uh, they are an ongoing issues that you know we keep repeating because uh, some of them are not being attended to, some of them you know, are beyond our capacity or beyond the partners that we work together with. It's beyond their reach. So some of those, you know, activities not carried out, uh, as I said, we may have the funds, we may not have the funds. For example, currently we, Norway Rainforest our Foundation is, is, is being our major funder for the last uh, 30 years, but uh, it's a donor what uh, funds, so, you know, it's, it's built to their criteria and we'll go to and some of those things that we cannot do because it does not fall into their what's a criteria. Uh, that's why they are not attended to so they keep you know popping us, popping up as you know people feel that those are the very things that you know they need them. And this kind of boom, this kind of get a little same now uh combined problem me plus I kiss him this issues and the problems come low table in na planti time mi plus i making but uh, sample tok tok we mi plus i making no follow no sakare kai kai lo now lo last follow mi plan now come planti man like tok tok but the previous experience time old tok tok but uh, things does not work out and this let us that so planti no at at now today so uh, uh, follow me the people of managalas have been fighting for years to have their area declared a conservation area and according to some village elders People's interest is starting to deplete, but they are determined to push forward. In Marangalas, uh, uh, they say Kwaifenami, which is it's, it's self-reliant. So we are all working towards establishing Marangalas community to be self-reliant. Self-reliant so they can take over the, the project and own the project by themselves. Hopefully we will declare the area or the government will declare the area in early 2017 or halfway through, but we are praying that it can happen before the national elections. So we want this project, the local NGOs, the local CBOs to, to manage, manage the uh, projects by themselves rather than being, becoming uh, spectators. The director for MCF emphasized that working with local communities in PNG is a challenge because of our cultural diversity. It almost took us 30 years uh, to come this far. Uh, I think one of the biggest problems is that uh, you know, it's very difficult to work with communities uh, in Papua New Guinea where the land is owned by the you know, Astronomy landowners. And to do such a project, you have to get the approval or consent so it took us a, a long time because we have to go through the uh, process to get them uh, make informed decisions about uh, uh, whether this conservation area is something that they want. You're watching Olsem 1M. Partners with Melanesians or PWM is involved in conservation and eco-friendly community development programs. PWM, in partnership with the Managalas Development Foundation, or MDF, agreed for local representatives to go on an exposure trip to the youth conservation area in Morobe province to see firsthand how things are done there and to have a fair idea on what to expect once the Managalas Plateau is declared as a conservation area. Partners with Melanesians to help uh, build the capacity for Manangalas Conservation Foundation and uh, uh, community-based organizations on the plateau, we decided to take them out on uh, this exposure trip, help them to be exposed to what's out there. If only staff the solo community, only by non survey our work uh, go about. So bringing them out to other institutions that uh, contribute long help in conservation work, I mean, by helping think think long, long uh, helping more long work, long all, or managing project on top. So 
this like exposure trip me pla marking certain institutions where we believe have contributed to helping the youth conservation area where managalas conservation area too it can work boom one time all long helping manage him this like project so organization he decide long uh, visit him uh, rainforest habitat lo unitech the nari headquarters long lay momase regional um, office the youth conservation area, the three kangaroo project in Lay, office based long along Lay, uh, entomology, Lo Unitech, and PNG Forest Research Institute long Lay. The local representatives who had gone on this trip expressed that they have come across a lot of things that they know can work for the Managalas people and are determined to share their experience and knowledge they have acquired to their people and apply this in the Managalas context for it to work. The idea behind this ex uh, exposure trip and also uh, plenty of time, we will sit down the place yet and uh, we will talk to us all the kind of people in the combined forum. But we will know that experience will go out and look at all the other partner NGOs, uh, or groups, existing groups who will go past the making of people who have been go out. So this was the first time where people have been go out. People have got I have been coming up with this idea also. I must go out and look at the NARA partner NGOs and groups who go past and declare the area of conservation area. I have to go to school and go to school and come. So from that experience, I have to try to work along to achieve the goal of the area of conservation area. The NARA conservation area is something to me looking at all the time to help people to use the conservation area long. Kissing more resources, plural, exporting go out to the world markets. Only open world markets, plural, now make it easy to all the selling more resources, plural, out to the good price, the world markets. Now, kissing we come back so people already got benefit of these resources, plural. So, also, coffee. Coffee was one of those uh, main uh, income generating projects where we've been looking time we plug off. Only using coffee to go out and sell them to America, where only kissing price. Good price for world market come out and only pay more all farmer good. On parchment price, uh, eight kina per kilo, which um, is very, very good. That's a lot of money that will help people, our local people in use area to sustain their family life. And also, me look at all this, not something. And, and more good plan MCF can kiss him come, no, try him. No. Operating, no, operate, no, this like I'm well or no, strong him. Office work blow him same time se deliver him service to the old people. Time we plug all when I'm expo trip blow use sorry I'm kind of blow use but round inside the lay yet the sample institution then one plus something me lining the happen one plus mama me me pine me one plus use mama me pine boy me inside the the town yet let me ask him ask him lo how I'm come stop this la place because I'm not come when I'm been come. Now I'm kid up and I'm talking to you. True coffee. True coffee work, na mama ya and then So plenty all work inside or coffee work inside the hub and all mama sa holy. Like picking coffee, washing coffee, drying coffee, and work with all mama. But some plat time, that's the all work. Time em come no last or some processing. Time to kiss the money, all papa sa bossing. We go to main market lo lay, na me like buy bilo. One plus bill. We gonna me ask him the slab bill. Then give me price. Then the price is fifteen kina. So me buy. Me buy. Me me ask him. Me ask him the slab bill. Then kina to. Only got one plus. Um, organized group lo have. Only calling. Car car women bill we was. Then I me I'm to cost him. I'm to. This slab bill more carrying come selling. Um, all mama sa working bill. Na all sa raising fund lo. All mama inside lo slab. Organize little organization lo. Out of the slab below, only been come up in one plus guest house. One plus little guest house, the old mama yet. Now it's like guest house, I'm containing two plus bedroom tassel. So that's how me learning some plus something where old mama is come up in one time. Own resource belong all inside low area below, now come up in a guest house to old mama.
Yes, Mary go past long this la trip me kiss him all gone and look him. Maybe I'm bold, look him how only I'm a mass long come out na kiss him seven or go back in na all get I excited lo sharing what they know with the community. You know, just long share, but when I'm like survey only kiss him only like long, make him sample something. So each of them, the seven participants, two pla ward counselors, two pla women rep, na all nara pla local leaders, lo community. Only planning little call mini projects only like come up with the networks that was uh, established during that trip. So there will be a follow up uh, trip, uh, follow up program again, activity lo behind him, just all mini projects we only talk long come up him. So Manangalas Conservation Foundation by go pass long. Check up long all community again, long look survey, all participants long look survey if this all projects only identify him, uh, carry him out and walk or Welcome back to the program. The people of the Managalas Plateau now tell us of their views on how they see programs aimed at improving their livelihood through capacity building and community empowerment. Plant your awareness in the workshop you've been come. Lo educate more money, look survey lo this land. But also me talk, you make a Culture blew me, tradition blew me. That's where I'm going down in middle all, all Mary. But now it looks like it's like forum, it looks like it's a group that we call them group that we call them women in literacy. The line is all mama, the mass cam, the look savvy, the talent blew me. Okay, with capacity, I think that's one of the problems that uh, we have to, we need to address and I still try to do, uh, push on is that Capacity, uh, I think local, uh, other NGOs, partner NGOs, that's, that's the whole reason they've been with us for so many years. I think they've tried lots of skills already. They've transferred their capacity already. The Convention on Biological Diversity is a global agreement in which Papua New Guinea is a signatory in addressing all aspects of biological diversity. In 2010, governments around the world, including Papua New Guinea, adopted a new strategic plan, including targets for addressing biodiversity loss to be met by 2020. Countries agreed to increase land-based protected areas from 12.5% to 17% of the Earth's surface and raise marine protected areas from 1% to 10%. Three years remain to meeting these targets, and we are nowhere close to meeting them. Having the 360,000 hectares of land in Managalas declared a conservation area will boost the target percentage. Uh, that's why with this area is 360,000, we, we, we know that it will you know, increase that, that uh, target for PNG. And that's why, uh, especially where the community have all agreed, the landowners to have the area declared, because they've seen all the problems in other areas where you know, there are major projects and all this, and they don't want that to happen. The people also express their frustrations to the authorities responsible, especially the Conservation and Environment Protection Authority, or SEPA, to speed up the process and have their area declared a conservation area. The delay is up there, the national law, which is uh, the uh, SEPA. SEPA has to inform, come back to the people, and tell the people that um, the process has been delayed or it's on hold or something. They have to really calm down. That's all. That's what we want to hear. We are still struggling to work along with the government. Though the government this day is talking about, you know, every one of us working together, uh, NGOs, government, churches, and all forms, company, whatsoever, to, co to, to deliver service, very much, you know, services to the people that we are serving, but that is not imaging. We, we really want to appeal to the government and especially the Minister for Environment Conservation and the Ministers, the NEC, that this is a genuine uh, project and the community, the landowners have all agreed uh, to have the area declared a conservation area, so we want them to approve the submission 
so that uh, the area can be gadgeted as a conservation area. That's all we have for this week. If you have any comments or stories you would like to share, please send us an email via the address on your screen or leave us a message on our Facebook page. Until next week, on behalf of the entire Ultramanim team, I'm Florence John Duo. Thank you for watching and have a pleasant evening.